Hey, I'm shooting a, a video for games I've got and purchased from March and April. Uh, I have a lot of stuff to show, so I'm going to try to go as quickly as I can. Um, I got a PS1 game called uh, Shooter Space Shot. It's kind of a generic uh, shooter on kind of the end of the PlayStation's life, lifespan, I believe. Um, it didn't cost me much. I think it was like around 4 or $5 off of eBay. So, um, very reasonable price. Uh, it's okay. I played it once, and we'll hopefully go back to it sometime. Um, Tato Legends 2. Um, I was keeping an eye on this game for quite a long time. Uh, just really, really interested in all the games that are available on it. Um, I think I spent uh, no more than 15 dollars on it which was a really good price and really keep, keeping it keeping a close eye on the prices of it um, but played this a few different times played a bunch of the games in it and has I've had some fun with it um, here is a PlayStation 4 RPG called exist archive um, I played this for a weekend and I don't know if I'll go back to it or not um, anytime soon um, but I just was watching the price fluctuate on Amazon and it got down to like ten dollars with Amazon Prime so it was for me it's I, um, that's free shipping for me so I went ahead and got it and then if I actually kind of just checked on it just to, this past weekend it's like it's like back up to like thirty dollars so I, I was having the feeling that this would be a hard to find game it's not that the, it's bad or anything I just um, had a hard time getting into it just because of sometimes I'm just not into starting up RPGs it just it, it, I need to be in the the right mindset to, to start RPGs I guess so I'll, I'll probably come back to it eventually and the game that I pre-ordered and got at the very beginning of March is uh, Breath of the Wild I got it on the Wii U and I might be the only person in the world that really isn't a huge fan of this game. Um, and I'm not, I don't really want to go into a lot of detail because I don't want to make this video very long. But um, if anybody's interested in why I'm not really a huge fan with it, uh, I'll respond in the comments. I just got about 20 hours into this game and I just, I just couldn't keep committing time to it because I just didn't see the point I'd rather play some of these other games that I got and use my I have very limited time I think I probably can play games for maybe an hour two hours a night and it, it just there was it, I, I wanted to play other games and so I moved on from it um, a game I got um, in the Walmart clearance bin um, this was a $5 game. It's uh, Sacred 3. It's a very... It's, it's like a watered-down version of, of like a Gauntlet or a Diablo. It was okay. I think when I played it, I played it for like two hours straight and then never went back to it. But um, it's, it's like mission-based, so it wouldn't be hard to pop it back in and just pick up where I left off. Uh, Mega Man Legacy Collection, another Walmart deal. Um, I, I just was keeping my eye on forums and some of the forums that I, I look at and read of what people talk about. They were saying about how if you can find this at Walmart, it is $7 no matter where, no matter what Walmart it is in the United States, it is $7. So I, I tried to track one down. It wasn't that hard. Found a copy and bought it. Um, I played it a little bit. I think it's still in my Xbox One. My Xbox One is the one system I don't I don't really give much time to, sadly. Um, but it's it's nice to have. I, I was looking to get the PlayStation Two version of this, but it just for seven dollars that that was a, a good price to buy it at. Um, this is probably the the game that I'm the most excited about out of all these games that I'm showing you is um, a physical copy of Hyperlight Drifter. This is a top-down action RPG 
very similar to kind of like a 16-bit style game. Um, it's real fast-paced. It, it's got that the the moody music style of kind of like a Metroid game, and it just is is a really fun game. Um, and, and it's it, it's really hard to understand what's going on but it's not really a huge problem i I'm, I'm enjoying it it's it's a lot of fun it's got a unique style and i'm pretty sure it was made by just one person it's a, just a phenomenal achievement to just have one person make this game all right keep moving on um a game that i played from start to finish um and surprisingly because it is a very repetitive game is um, Earth Defense Force 2025. I got this for six dollars on eBay. I think it was like free shipping too. Um, it came from like a game collectible store because that's what the there was a sticker on it. So it was almost kind of like the I feel like they weren't selling it in their store, so they're just trying to unload it somewhere on an eBay was the option. Um, it, it, this game series. This is the first time I've ever played this. It kind of reminds me of like if you could play. Crazy Taxi with weapons. It's just it's just such a crazy game of just killing random monsters and and insects and robots. It's just it was it was addicting, um, and, and I I enjoyed it. Um, if I could find the other ones for just a few dollars, I probably would buy them. But um, if I had somebody else to play with. Uh, Locally, like a co-op, like with playing co-op with this, this would be a lot of fun. Uh, there's another Walmart deal, uh, Tearaway. This one wasn't five; this was seven. And um, I think with this one, I was going to between the months of February, March, and a little bit of April. I was going to to Walmart's all over the place. I probably went to about twelve different Walmart's in my region. And I mean, there are. I live in a pretty, pretty large area. Lots of people around. So there's there's a decent amount of WalMarts. But um, I was able to track this down for seven dollars. I haven't played it yet. I actually opened the plastic, and I was really close to, um, to playing it. But then I decided not to. I forget what I ended up playing. But um, I was interested in playing this. Hopefully, I will eventually. <clears throat> Geometry Wars uh, Dimensions Evolved. Um, again, this is another forum. Uh, keeping my eyes on what message boards and stuff, and people were talking about how at Target this was reduced. Um, so I found one at Target for this was five ninety eight, and so about six dollars for this. And there were quite a few times where I almost bought this for like around ten or fifteen. But uh, I'm kind of glad I did. It's a it's an okay game. It's it's um it's got a lot of pre um re replay value. But um I only really played it once, and I played it for like maybe an hour, hour and a half, and then um I'm sure I'll go back to it because I, I like to play games like this. If I know that I only have like 20 or 30 minutes, this is a game that I would be interested in playing for that time. <clears throat> um, Dragon Quest Seven. This was the game that I was just bidding on on eBay, and I was just trying to put a bid down and see if I'd get it, and I, and I ended up uh, winning a, a, a bid on eBay. I think I paid around $22 for this, which isn't too bad. Um, I went on a trip uh, just a few weeks ago. Um, I'm a teacher, so I had spring break, and... During spring break, I went on a, a trip to visit some family members, and I, I didn't—I wasn't driving, so this was the game that I was playing, and I probably put in a good t uh, eight to ten hours into it. And it, it was, it's fun. I haven't played it um, for about two or three weeks, but um, it's something I will probably go back to. A uh, game that I'm very proud to have found for such a cheap price. Uh, so Walmart had this price down to seven dollars and uh, just was able to find a Walmart that had this um, I was using the Walmart app to find a lot of these games that I've mentioned and so just able to stumble upon this one Walmart that had this and I bought it for seven dollars and 
I have it for the PlayStation 4, but it's nice to have it if you could, you know, if you're going somewhere, you're traveling, and you need it um, on the go. This is such an awesome, awesome game to have, and, and it's it's fine to have a double double of it. Uh, Super Mario 3D Land. Uh, I'm I'm really close to almost beating this game. Uh, I've been playing this game uh, just before bed, just like 20 minutes here, 30 minutes there, and it's it's a really not that difficult Mario game. It's probably like one of the only Mario games that I've been able to just kind of breeze through. And I haven't beat it yet, but uh, most of the Mario's in the past like 20 years. They, they kick my butt and I just stop playing them. But this has been a lot of fun and I feel like I'll, I'll be able to beat it um, and, and have a good time with it. These next games are from Yard Sales. <clears throat> Today I found a kid that was selling PlayStation 3 games and I have two of the three of these games but uh, for some reason I've been kind of picking up PlayStation 3 games of games that I already own on the 360, just if they're games that I really liked. And um, especially since this, these weren't that expensive, this was basically like a dollar fifty a piece. Um, so three games for five bucks, and it's like dollar seventy five technically. But uh, Dark Siders, I wouldn't mind playing this again. I never, I never got very far with it in, on the 360, but um, to play it on PlayStation Three um, it might be just a different different way of playing it and um, on a different system so uh, Dark Siders um, God of War collection for about $1.75 I didn't have that so it was worth it um, and then he also had Borderlands 2 which um, I think if I wouldn't have bundled them together I probably would have had to pay like three bucks a piece but um, I already like I said I have this one and this one already but it's not a big deal I'm getting in on a different system. Um, at another yard sale, uh, for two dollars a piece, I got um, Shenmue 2 on the Xbox, so two bucks, and then Dino Crisis 3 for two bucks. The woman originally wanted six for both of these, and then I was haggling them, haggling her down. And I said, I, I, "I'll, I'll give you four dollars for these two, and she was kind of giving me an argument, and I was ready to put them back on the table and walk away, um, and then. She acted like I was pathetic to, to do that, but you know sometimes you gotta you gotta show them that you're the you're the one with the money, and um, if you don't like what the price is, then you keep your money. That's the way it works. Uh, but fortunately, um, uh, this is a better copy than the one I had, so it was nice to get to see Shenmue too. It's kind of random to see at a at a yard sale. Um, but so is this to find it at a yard sale. I was at a yard sale. Uh, this is probably the first yard sale I went to uh, of the spring season. This was like back in March, and early March. And um, this this guy was selling um, like nothing related to video games. And then all of a sudden I saw on like the edge of one of his tables was just this randomly sitting there. And um, I told him... Uh, what do you want what would you do for this and the wife originally threw out like five dollars but um i said I, I would i would give you two dollars and he's just like okay fine so i got this for two dollars i already have this so i'll probably end up trying to trade it or sell it to to make some of my money back um probably here in the next few weeks i'll probably try to get rid of it um and then lastly this is probably a pretty this is a very surprising find um these are five Super Nintendo games I found at a yard sale last weekend, and this was these were two dollars a piece. So this is the second time I've found this game just out and about. The other time I found this game was at a yard sale, or I'm sorry, at a thrift store. I'll have to actually kind of compare to see which is the better better copy that I have, and then I'll get rid of the other one. But um, this is. Uh, not an easy game to find. You usually don't ever really see, run into this. You usually just run into the standard Mario All-Stars game. Uh, but then, so that was $2. Uh, Super R-Type, I already have that, but for $2, I'll take that. Uh, Street Fighter 2, I already have that, but for $2, you can't just leave it behind. And Star Fox, um, that was $2. I already have it, same thing. 
and this is one game I did not have, so I was interested in bundling them all up and getting them all, and, and then keeping this one. But uh, Super Bomberman 2 is a game that I would be interested in giving a try. But um, those are the games I have got for the months of March and April. And I'm looking forward to getting some more games coming in because there's a lot of a lot of indie games that are being uh, published right now and I'm uh, pre-ordering a, pre a lot but um, let me know what you guys are playing and let me know what you think thanks